Meet Zim Ugochukwu, founder and CEO of Travel Noir. Travel Noir was founded with one goal in mind, to make international travel more inclusive and representative for explorers of color. Zim has been featured on Forbes 30 Under 30 list, as well as in The New York Times, Elle, and more as the creator of the go-to travel destination source for black millennials. Find out why she's the boss. I started Travel Noir in September 2013. It began with $50. I didn't have much. It was just enough for a website and for me to like learn how to code and put things together. What made me want to start Travel Noir was right after I graduated college, I got the opportunity to move abroad to India to work for a year. So I think that's probably the first time that I fell in love with travel. When I was in India, I would never see any African-American tourists. And that was something that really bothered me. I thought about it. And I said to myself, you know, it'd be really interesting if I started something where people could kind of share their thoughts and, and what it's like to travel as a person of color abroad. And I know a lot of people have this desire to really explore the world or live their lives on their own terms. And so what we do is we create a, a roadmap to make that happen. When I first started the Travel More Instagram, I would spend hours trying to find like one big, beautiful image. Like if we were to put out something that was less than, people would know it immediately because it doesn't fit within our entire branding strategy. And that strategy is clean, simple, timeless, big, beautiful images of brown excellence. Some common misconceptions around travel are that it's, it's expensive, that you have to sort of ball out to like have a good time. So if you want to travel really well but cheaply, going to places like Bali or even anywhere in Asia, some parts of Africa, some parts of South America, totally doable. There is no normal day when you work at Travel Noir. There is literally always something funky, fun, popping up. There are trends that we watch out for, clients that we interact with, new solutions that we're coming up with every day. As people of color, we've been traveling for eons. And I think that the challenge that I had when starting Travel Noir was that I never saw people on magazine covers that looked like me. I would never pick up a magazine and see myself just gallivanting across Iceland or Italy or Morocco even. What that meant was that people thought this ain't for me, or it wasn't a top of mind thing. As an entrepreneur, I tend to have a lot on my plate. So I need to have some hobbies to balance me out. I'm a classically trained pianist. I've been singing ever since the tender age of four, and I dabble in a little bit of photography. The advice that I would give somebody who wants to be an entrepreneur, the first thing that pops in my head is don't. That's the first thing. And the reason that I say that is Unless you are ready to lay everything on the line, and I mean everything, I mean your pride, your heart, your, your wallet, everything on the line that entrepreneurship isn't for you. Yes, it's beautiful to think about these really excellent like ideas and like seeing yourself in really great places and um, impacting a lot of people, but the reality is, is I work twice, maybe even three times as hard as I did when I was working for somebody else and that's the kind of commitment, that's the kind of sacrifice that you have to make. I'm a boss because I've decided that for my life, I wanted to do something different. I created a lane for myself that I can be proud of. I'm living the life that I am proud to live. And I think that I'm a boss because I've created a way for other people to sort of join that lane and build something beautiful, incredibly beautiful. I've sort of taken my own dreams under my own wings and, and I'm kind of moving forward. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to log on to MadamNora.com for more She's the Boss. To watch season one, click here. To watch season two, click here. And to watch season three, click there. <laughs>